There are a lot of lightweight bindings on the market, but none of that really matters if you can't ski it aggressively on the way down. I am super excited about the Zed binding from G3. It performs really well and is amazingly lightweight. With the Zed, we set out to develop a lightweight, fully featured, high performance binding. We used the Ion as a jumping off point and focused really on the user experience in order to dial in a great skiing and great user friendly binding. The Zed bridges the gap between lightweight touring bindings and performance downhill bindings providing you with the best of both worlds for going up and for going down. Losing the weight going on the diet is definitely a big plus in my book. It just means I can go a little further, a little faster than I could before. And the crux of all that is a single screw adjustment for lateral release and forward falling. This is unique in terms of any other binding on the market. There's one screw to set both settings and you're set to go. It is just lighter but with the same bomb-proof dependability as the Ion, touch more versatile, I can add a brake, I can take it off if I like. Same dependability on the best toe piece in the industry, I think, clearing tons of snow out all the time, never ices up, and just even a little bit cleaner, a little bit lighter. Super easy heel lifts, just a bomber round mount system. The Z has the same mounting pattern as the Ion, and just like the Ion uses one single tool for adjustment and mounting, and that's the Posi Drive number three. I really appreciate how easy it is to insert a crampon adapter. You pretty much need a screwdriver in about five seconds to just slide the piece in place and then just screw it there and then you're good to go. Oh, baby! One of the awesome things I've found about the Zeds is that you get all the same modern performance of the high-tech pin bindings with the constant forward pressure so you feel really locked in there huge range of versatility. I switch boots a fair bit, so it's nice to be able to mount it once and use it for a couple different pairs of boots. So you're not making any sacrifices for performance and for options like you do when you have to go to a super light race binding. You just lose a ton of versatility when you do that. The Z12 has release values and springs dialed for powerful skiing and binding retention. While the Z9's lightweight build and easy to use feature set is ideal for lighter users. I'm a backcountry and competitive free skier. I've skied on the Z9s in every single condition and I've also competed on them. They have performed amazingly. Each and every Z binding is individually calibrated. We also have laser edged RV values. This ensures that the skier has every confidence that the binding will perform as expected. And that's one of the strengths of the Z is that it's got a wide mount pattern for driving big skis, best in class toe elasticity in order to absorb maximum amount of energy. It has eight and a half millimeters of forward pressure in order to keep a, a consistent release value during bumps and chunder. And the metal track and the wide base provides maximum power transfer for the way down. When you go in the backcountry, every single gram counts. G3 took their ion binding and basically slimmed it down to make a super rad binding that's lightweight. Check it out.